Hi, this is Rishva and I want to demonstrate to you the new solution to Eve Pirate's Little Helper, the Pause Mapper. This is a utility that lets you uh, find out through the D-Scan uh, the control towers on the moons around you and the modules they are equipped with. So, to open the Pause Mapper you click on the D-Scan Locator button and then on the Pause Mapper button on the lower left and there you have the field. Uh, to start uh, scanning for control towers you cl open your directional scan uh, and make sure use active overview settings are deselected so you have ab absolutely everything in your scan results. Uh, I will do a max range 360 degree scan to scan all moons around me but you can also uh, limit your scan to uh, single moons or parts uh, of your view field uh, s uh, if you are interested in uh, only the partial results. Okay, so I will start by pressing scan, clicking into the result list, press Ctrl and A to select everything and Ctrl and C to put everything into your Windows clipboards. The POS mapper analyzes these results and you immediately uh, see it has found 10 control towers around me uh, while 4 of them are offline so have no active force field. <coughs> uh, uh, the POS mapper also has put a uh, new range for me to scan into the Windows clipboard which I will uh, paste into this field by double clicking in it and pressing Ctrl and V and I will scan again. You can see uh, the new scan is done because uh, nothing is selected anymore. I click into the list, press Ctrl and A, Ctrl and C again and every time uh, the POS mapper puts a new range to scan to the clipboard you will hear a little sound. So uh, I will just go on then and do a few more scans. Um, the number of scans you have to do uh, depends on the number of moons or uh, more precisely on the number of uh, control towers uh, around you. So uh, if you have lots of moons and lots of control towers, it will uh, can take quite a long time. You have to have at least one scan for each tower and usually a little bit more to uh, find where they are located exactly. <coughs> uh, as we scan more and more, you can see there's a progress bar progressing. We now have six uh, of the ten um, towers identified correctly, uh, so four more to go. And almost there. Just one last scan, and here are the results. You can see now uh, all the moons I've scanned around me, which is uh, from Planet 6, and you can see uh, the kind of uh, the kind of control towers, Kaldari, Minmata, etc., the names of the control towers, and whether their force field is uh, active uh, or inactive. You also see the time uh, of the scan. This is because internally if Pirates Little Helper stores your scans, so if you join a system uh, you can uh, immediately see uh, your last uh, scans um, from from your scans from the last time and you can see uh, when you last updated your data. So if you scan uh, all the moons again or only parts of it, uh, the times will uh, update accordingly. So to now see uh, what modules are anchored at the tower, you just click on the tower and you get a table uh, containing the different items and uh, the amount of the items. So, for example, for medium pulse laser batteries on uh, Planet 6 Moon 13. So, if for example we want to update the scan for Moon 13, uh, only for that we whoop, uh, we uh, put our camera uh, to the uh, change the angle to 5 degree, do our scan, and there we are, and you see now uh, the time has updated. Um, 
So if I open the post mapper, the list is uh, empty because uh, this is because if Pirates Little Helper doesn't know uh, what system you currently are in. But you can give it that information by uh, opening a web page in your Ingram browser. Uh, you do this by um, most easily through clicking uh, on the settings button and then clicking the button copy tracking URL for IGB to clipboard. So I do that, I have the URL in my clipboard. I then go on opening uh, my browser and pasting the URL, loading it and you see EFPLH now receives my position and um, uh, another neat feature if EFPLH, uh, if you give each PLH your position uh, this way is that it will always show you all the systems around your current system and uh, the kills that occurred there during uh, the last hour. Okay, but this is not of interest, interest for us now, so we open the D-Scan locator and the POS map again and there you are, it has loaded uh, all the scans we have for this system.